In this video, we are going to learn about register transfer language. Before going to discuss about register transfer language, let us have a look on basic language. The first definition is digital system. A digital system is an interconnection of digital hardware modules. These modules are constructed from the digital components such as registers, decoders, arithmetic elements and control logic. The details about registers, decoders, arithmetic elements and control logic we will discuss in the subsequent videos. These modules are interconnected with common data and control path to form a digital computer system. Here we need data path to transfer data from one register to another register and control path is required to send control signals. That's why hardware modules inside a computer system has to be interconnected with common data and control paths. Next definition is a register. Register is the smallest storage unit that resides inside the processor and is usually constructed using group of flip-flops. Whereas flip-flop is a device capable of storing one bit of information. If we want to construct a 8-bit register, it can be done using 8 flip-flops because we know that a register is constructed using group of flip-flops and each flip-flop is capable of storing one bit of information. That's why if we want to construct a n bit register, it can be done using n flip-flops. The next definition is micro operations. The operations performed on data stored in registers are called micro operations. In other words, we can say a micro operation is an elementary operation performed on the information stored in registers. This elementary operation means that the micro operation, whatever the fundamental or basic operations are performed in the information stored in registers, those fundamental operations are known as micro operations. Example for micro operations are shift, count, clear, addition, load, etc. Next definition is internal hardware organization. The internal hardware organization of a digital computer is best defined by specifying the set of registers it contains and their function, the sequence of micro operations performed on the binary information stored in the registers and the control that initiates the sequence of micro operations. Let's now discuss register transfer language that is RTL. A RTL is a system for describing the micro operation transfer among registers of a digital module using symbolic notation. It is very important. Register transfer language it uses symbolic notations in order to describe the micro operation transfer among registers and it is a convenient tool for describing the internal organization of digital computers in concise and precise manner and we know that internal organization of digital computers are best defined by three factors it is the set of registers it contains and their function the sequence of micro operations performed in the registers and the control that initiates the sequence of micro operations. So all this information can be concisely and precisely be described using RTL. Let's now discuss how registers are represented using RTL. This registers are usually represented by uppercase letters and optionally followed by digits or letters. Here in this example you can observe then the register name is address register when address register is represented in RTL it is represented as AR similarly a program counter register is represented as PC and instruction register is represented as IR here in this uh, diagram various ways for representing registers are shown in block diagrams here in the first case the name of the register is represented inside the rectangular box. In the second case, the individual bits of the registers are shown separately inside the rectangular box. In the third case, name of the register is written inside the rectangular box as well as the numbering of the lowest byte and highest byte are written on the top of the rectangular box. And here in the fourth case, 
the register is divided into two equal parts here name of the register is pc that is program count register it is divided into two parts this pc of l indicates the low byte of program counter that is it indicates the bits from 0 to 7 and then this part which is designated as pc of h that is h indicates the high byte that is high order byte it indicates the bits from 8 to 15 like this a register can be represented in different ways here out of these methods the first one is very simple and widely used method let's now discuss register transfer the term register transfer means the availability of hardware logic circuits that can perform a micro operation and transfer the result of the operation to the same or another register a register transfer statement implies that the digital system has the data lines from the source register to the destination register parallel load capacity in the destination register and control lines to perform the action so these information are implied by a register transfer statement let us discuss how these information are implied by a register transfer statement given in the example here r3 arrow mark followed by r5 here arrow mark is pointing towards r3 this is the register transfer statement given in the example and this register transfer statement indicates that binary information from r5 is loaded into the register r3 here r5 is the source register and r3 is the destination register that's why the binary information from r5 is loaded into the destination register r3 as well this register transfer statement implies that the digital system has the data lines from the source register r5 to the destination register r3 so that is the register transfer from r5 to r3 can happen only when data lines exist between them so whenever register transfer is indicated by a register transfer statement obviously data lines exist between source and destination register as well the destination register r3 is having the parallel load capacity so these two information are implied by this register transfer statement and here this register transfer statement is the simplest register transfer statement because there is no control variable is indicated here in general every register transfer statement can take place only when certain condition is true so without checking any condition none of the register transfer takes place so now let's discuss how register transfer takes place with control functions in digital systems register transfer can occur only if a certain condition is true this is often done via control signal called the control function the control function is a boolean variable that is equal to 1 or 0 if the signal is 1 then the action takes place otherwise the action won't take place example for the register transfer statement with control function is given here here p is the control variable p is the control variable and whenever p is true then this register transfer take place that is register transfer from that is binary information is transferred from the register r1 to r2 this register transfer can take place only when the control variable p is true p is true it means that whenever p is equal to 1 then only the register transfer can take place so this is the notation that is a uh, variable name followed by colon this is the notation used to indicate the control variable since p is the control variable it is followed by colon let's now discuss the implementation of control register transfer for the given register transfer statement in this register transfer statement r1 is the source register r2 is the destination register where p is the control variable the meaning of this statement is that 
the content of R1 can be loaded into R2 only when the control variable P equal to 1. So now let's discuss how to construct a block diagram for this register transfer statement. So for this first let's take this part of this register transfer statement that is R2 arrow mark R1. Let's take this part first. So from this part it is implied that data lines exist from R1 to R2 as well R2 has the parallel load capacity. So as per this information data line can be drawn from R1 to R2 as well load, in, load input signal can be associated with R2. So now let us take the control variable. So usually this control variable is activated by the control circuit that is why here control variable P is associated with the control circuit. Here you can observe that the control variable P is connected with the load input signal of R2 that is why whenever P is activated by the control circuit at the same time load input signal of R2 also will be activated. Here you can observe that clock pulse is applied to R2 it means that the micro operations of R2 is synchronized by the clock pulse. Here as per this RTL which micro operation takes place in R2 that is load micro operation takes place in this R2. So that is why this load operation is synchronized by the clock pulse. Let us now discuss what is in the clock pulse. A clock pulse is a signal used to synchronize the operations of an electronic system that oscillates between a high and low state. Here the clock pulse is applied to the register R2 in order to synchronize the load micro operation of R2. So now let us discuss how this clock pulse is used to synchronize the load micro operation of R2 with a timing diagram. In this timing diagram clock pulse and load input signal are shown. Here you can observe the clock pulse is oscillating between a high and low state and initially the load input, input signal is in low state. Assume that at time t the control variable p is activated by the rising edge of the clock pulse. So whenever the control variable is activated so immediately load in, input signal also will be activated. So that is why here at time t you can observe that load input signal is transitioned from low state to high state. Then at time t plus 1 load input signal is found active by the next rising edge of the clock pulse. So immediately at time t plus 1 whenever load in, input signal is found active immediately data transfer occurs from R1 to R2. So also here you can observe that load input signal is transitioned from high state to low state. So here this, this point is very important that is data transfer occurs only at time t plus 1 whenever the load input signal is found active by the next rising edge of the clock pulse. So this point is very important. So like this, this clock pulses are applied to synchronize the activities of electronic system. So in this video we have learnt about register transfer language and register transfer. Viewers, if you find this video is useful to you, kindly subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.